we have an employment system where we pay employees based on hours spent on working. For that, we need to calculate the work hours precisely. But first, we need to keep track of lists of tasks and the exact start and end time spent on them. Let's try a template for our job. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulgum from Excel Demi. We are one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Our discussion today is about how to create real-time tracker in Excel. We will create a template like that for day-by-day -day income for an employee over the course of first half of April 2023. For the primary outline, first we need to add some information. Let's add some titles first. In B4, let's type employee name. In B5, employee ID. In B6, starting date. Now, in G4, we will type department, responsibility, hourly rate. Now, you can add manually data for these cells, or you can just copy it from another source sheet. We have a draft record of name, ID, starting date, department, responsibility, and hourly rate. Let's use Ctrl C to copy the cell values and paste it in cell D4 using Ctrl V. For department, let's copy again and paste it in I4. There you go. Now to track daily data, let's add some columns from 8th row. We can type their titles or column headers first. In B8, type date. In C8, work description. In E8, start time. End time. Total hours. Unpaid time. Billable time. Gross pay. As we go along the procedure, we will explain in details about the purpose of the columns. Now, copy the starting date from D6. Control C and paste it here in cell B9. Control V. Since D6 was a merged cell, the copied cell in B9 is also merged. So we can just unmerge it from the alignment group. Now let's use fill handle to drag the date till B18. Now you can see that there is a autofill option. Click on it and use fill weekdays. Now you can see weekends are subtracted from here. And finally, we can see the dates of weekdays for first half of month April 2023. Now let's add borders for cells so that we can easily understand the template. Select B4 to E6, go to Home tab and from the font group, select border drop down and choose all borders same goes for this and select b8 to j18 select now let's merge and center some of the cells and we can just copy it and for the contents we can just select them and tap on delete key from keyboard merge and center it looks better this way right now for our titles let's click on them all together using control key now from the home tab under font group Let's make them bold, give them a font, larger. Now let's select a fill color, say this. And from the alignment group, let's select center and middle aligned. There you go. It looks better, right? 
Let's add data for the work description and start time and end time. Again, you can add this manually or copy paste from a source. We will copy paste the description and timings from a draft record. We have copied them using Ctrl C and let's paste them using Ctrl V. There you go. Now, from the start and ending time given, let's try a formula in cell G9 using the text function to get a custom format for duration. Let's break down the formula for you. Here, value is the difference between ending time and starting time. And the format is hour to be on the left side of the colon and minutes in two digit right side of the colon. Enter. Now let's use fill handle to drag it till G18 or we can just double click on the bottom right corner. There you go. In column H, we will add the unpaid time durations. You can manually add them as well or copy from a draft record. We have copied them using Ctrl C. Let's paste it in H9 using Ctrl V. There it is, hour and in minute format. Now, for billable time, we need to subtract unpaid time from the total hours. Let's try a formula for it in cell I9 equals G9 minus H9. Enter. Double click on the bottom right corner. Easy peasy. Now, to estimate the cross pay per day, we need billable time from column I and hourly rate from I6. We could just multiply it, but since the duration is in hour minute format, we need to multiply for hours and minutes separately and then add them. Let's try a formula in cell J9. Here, our function will get the hour value from I9 multiplied by the hourly rate. Since it's going to be the constant for all the days, let's make it absolute using function for or F4 key. Plus, minute function will get the minute value from I9 or billable time. Dividing it by 60 will turn it into hour value multiplied by I6. Let's make it absolute again. Enter. Now our cross pay is in general format. Let's change the format into something regarding accounting or currency. You can find it in home tab in number group. In this drop down, let's select currency or accounting. There you go. You can also choose this icon as well. Now, we can just use fill handle or double click on the bottom right corner. We can easily understand the gross pay per day. Now we want to get the total payment for the first half of the month, April 2023. Let's select cell J19 and try a formula for addition equals sum J9 to J18. Enter. Let's add border for this as well and let's make them bold so that we can highlight this. You can find bold from home tab in font group. Using these easy methods, we can create a real-time tracker in Excel. You can practice this template with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve this in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.